Do you like vintage things? Yeah, you can't eat the mic, it's not vegan. It's Hipster Bingo! If hipsters are a virus, Melbourne is patient zero. I should know. I've only been here a fortnight. I've already caught a moustache. It's quite a fashionable city, isn't it? Can you talk us through your fashion choices? Bit of the vintage stuff, you know, like... Tony vintage, ding, ding. <laughs> Ducks and Buttons. It's from a, uh, a Canadian shirt mill that only uses recycled Japanese cotton. Oh, that's good stuff. What would you describe this look as? Awesome. Not sleazy at all. Twee graffiti of a cat. Ugh. I'm a musician. I just produce hip-hop music, and it's all lo-fi, of course, like my film photography. I know what I'm doing, but it's not good. But it, it, you know. it is good, but I'm trying to make it bad, but it's still good. Good grief, it's complicated being a hipster, right? Yeah, man. Why do you shoot film as opposed to digital? It looks better, it's more organic. Yeah, there you go. You can't all be rebels if you're doing the same thing. 85. Do you go for this natural wine stuff? Yeah, fermented wine is. Oh, is the way ding, you go ding. Here. I mean, it sounds gross, though. Yeah. What about what kind of products do you put in a beard? Beard oil. Ding, ding. Good. What kind of flavours are we talking? Unscented and scented. Just like oven cleaner. Bar in a shipping container. Bingo! Your trousers don't fit. 66. What did you do last night, Rob? I went to a wine tasting and degustation down the road there. Uh, what? Uh, one of the big things uh, here in Melbourne is cyclists. Oh, there's one coming up now. Let's try and grab him. Hello. Are you... Is this a vintage bike? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's better about a vintage bike? They've got a little bit more personality than your average bike. Do you vape? I do. Boom! But only cannabis. Nice! You say you're a big music fan, Robert. How do you buy your music? I feel like you're setting me up to say vinyl. Mm. But that is true. You do buy vinyl? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to spot them. That dog looks fucked. 12. Describe for me your perfect Melbourne Sunday. Six pack of craft beer. Mm. I'm looking for a word. Pretty big on, on this meal yeah. in Melbourne. You know what I'm talking about? You're talking about brunch? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> ding, ding. Bunting on a building site. Ding, ding. You like coffee? You can't live in Melbourne if you don't like coffee. What's the most pretentious coffee you can make, mate? I reckon we could do like a turmeric decaf long flat. Let's make it. Okay. We go a turmeric almond latte. Could it get any more hipster? Donut surf on a chopping board. Bingo. Cheers. Mm. That is foul. That is absolutely rank. <laughs> Just one more to find. Did you say you're a hipster, Robert? No, I don't think anyone would cop to that. Would you call yourself a hipster? No, I don't think so. It's only for other people to say you are. Pretty much. I think yeah, people yeah, yeah. have to ascribe that to you. Yeah. I'm not a hipster. No. Well, there you are. If you'd be so kind as to do me the honours of calling me one. That's your hipster, right? Yeah! Would you say you're a hipster, Chris? Most people are hipsters or do some sort of hipster thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever queued for a fry-up? Actually, I have to admit, I'm not. Yeah, I think that means you're a hipster. That's Hipster House!